That's how long, uh, Sadal, until uh, fully vaccinated means uh, booster included, do you think? You know, it's interesting because the New York Times headlines this morning are vaccine boosters widely needed. Some federal advisors have misgivings. It's going to be confusing for people. Unlike vaccines where it was very clear that they were not only helpful, useful, and mandating them uh, are uh, necessary, with boosters, it's less straightforward. So companies are going to have to interpret what the... Uh, officials are saying around who needs it and when while collecting data and having a much more direct uh, advice for companies. Tom, what do you think is going to happen? Every year, kids going back to school have to make sure they get their shots, Joe. It's going to be the exact same thing with this. It'll, maybe it'll be in the spring, maybe it'll be next summer, but after whether it's six months or nine months following uh, your last shot, you're going to have to get a booster, and I think it'll start to be rolled out by the CDC. Like you were saying in an earlier segment, being old isn't just enough, but eventually it will be a situation that everybody who's had one will be mandated to get one, I think, by the majority of companies in the country until we uh, get rid of this terrible situation. Uh, Tom, earlier I, I was listening to Brian Sullivan saying it, he was trying to figure out who it is that, that still has such hesitancy, and he pointed out that there's a whole slew of people that, that had COVID and had, a, had a, a very serious case of it and feel like their immune system is, is completely ready for, for seeing it again. And they just don't, you know, they got so sick, they don't feel like getting a vaccine because they've heard you can get sick again. Is there any merit to those people that, that say, look, I've already had it. Why do I need a vaccine? I think there is merit. And I think that they'll probably end up being a test for antibodies that will end up being just as validating as having the vaccine, that if you test positive for having the antibodies, that that's the same and you don't need to get the vaccine. I think we've got to look to history, Joe. You and I both went to the, the Harvard of the Rockies, Sadal, where Joe and I went. And above Norland Library, it says, who knows only his own generation remains always a child. And we've got to look at history and look at the combination of what is this confluence of events, of vaccines, of inflation coming on strong, of the economy, of low interest rates, and it's all tied together. And I hate to, to be the, the bearer of bad news, but the people fearing getting the vaccine uh, mandated across the country, it's actually tying into inflation. It's actually tying into the economy and, and remote work. And, and we're going to be in a situation eventually, Joe, yeah. that we are going to have interest rates go up. We're going to have unemployment go up. And it's all tied together, and we're in for a long road. Might be the Harvard. It's it's not the Alabama uh, of the Rockies in terms of football. I can tell you that much. Uh, I've got a son at Alabama, Joe, and it is most definitely <laughs> not the Alabama of the Rockies. Cal, Cal Berkeley, just just ran all over. The, 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 that's a uh, unacceptable. Yeah, terrible. Uh, what do, do you what you heard? What Tom said. So. I'll tell you what the problem I have with that analysis, you know, is that T cell, it's hard to assay T cell immunity. So I don't know whether a B cell, I don't know whether an antibody test really tells you uh, it's not the end all be all for whether you're totally protected. So I don't know what to do with people that have already had a serious case of COVID that don't want the vaccine. Well, listen, we know that uh, once you've had the uh, virus, there's so many cases that we are hearing about that you can get it again and people have gotten it more than once, and you don't want COVID in any way, shape, or form. We don't know the long-term impact for individuals. And I wholeheartedly agree with Tom on the fact that unless we're fully clear about the impact of this, the vaccination getting used everywhere, our economy and the return to work, flexibility and policies are not going to be able to unfold so that we can keep going on and uh, returning to normalcy in our economy. So uh, the idea that I've had COVID in the past, so I'm fine, is not necessarily scientifically proven. We know that vaccines work. And once boosters are mandated, that's where we're going to head. This has crippled work and workplaces, and it's time to change it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.